adjusting the truss rod on your guitar is probably one of the scariest things a guitarist can try to do uh, when trying to set up their guitar, which is why most guitarists will take it to a guitar setup tech. But really, it's not that difficult, and I'm gonna show you how. What's up everyone, Man Bun Metalhead here. And like I said, I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust your truss rod pretty simply. There's just a few tools that you're gonna need. It's always good to have a nice um, soft surface that you can put your guitar on, and I have this nice uh, neck rest. So you can really find probably something pretty cheap on Amazon or Guitar Center or Sweetwater or one of those sites. But if you don't have something like that, like some towels are always a good bet. You just want your guitar to feel comfortable. So if you don't really understand what a truss rod does, uh, it just controls the straightness of your neck. So ideally, in a perfect world, your neck is going to be straight. More than likely, it's gonna be a little bent. So what the truss rod is going to do is either take that bend and straighten it out, or if it's bent the other way, it's going to relieve that tension so you get uh, more of a bend in that neck. There's a couple reasons why you would want to adjust your truss rod, and one is um, you have too much back bow, which is going to uh, give you buzzing frets all over the place. And sometimes uh, when you play an open string, it sounds like you're playing a second or third fret. So you definitely have a back bow there. So you just have to take out tension. And other cases are your strings are just way too far above uh, your fretboard. And no matter how much you adjust the height of the bridge, um, you're still just way up there. So uh, those are two scenarios. Uh, and really they can easily be fixed as long as you're just a little careful. So this guitar I have here is actually got quite a bit of back bow to it. So I have crazy buzzing strings. Um, so I'll just play some. You can hear I'm on the first fret, it's buzzing like crazy. So that just sounds awful. Uh, so basically I just have to take some bow out of it. Uh, really not a big deal at all. And taking bow out is usually easier than putting bow in because you're just relieving tension instead of adding tension, which can be uh, a little nerve wracking sometimes. But really, as long as you're careful, it's not that big of a deal. The one thing you're gonna ask yourself is, you know, how much bow do you really want? And uh, it's personal preference. So for me, like I said, I like mine pretty straight, um, just a touch of bow. So to check it, I put one finger on the first fret and then one finger on the 16th fret. And Really you want somewhere around the 16th, uh, basically where your neck is going to contact your body. Usually it's around the 16th. And then I'm gonna push down on the eighth fret right here. And you can actually see here that this string is already up against that fret. There's, there's no bounce at all. For me, you'll see, uh, I just want a little bit of movement there so you can actually hear the string click against that fret. Um, but you can go ahead and get yourself a set of feeler gauges and these gauges um, have all different thousands markings on them uh, and you can just fit them under uh, in between the fret and the string to figure out how um, how you want that string. So if you have a guitar that you really like um, how it plays, uh, go ahead and measure the bow on that. And, and also I should mention that if uh, you can't do the method of measuring while you're pressing down on both these frets uh, because you don't have an extra hand. So one good way to do that is to put a capo on the first fret, put a finger on the 16th fret, and then use the other hand to put the feeler gauges uh, in here. So some of the other tools you're gonna want is uh, maybe a little screwdriver to take off your truss rod cover, um, and then a truss adjustment tool. Now I know that uh, my truss rod on here is a hex nut, so I'm gonna use one of these uh, hex tools. Some truss rods have a Allen key, so uh, it's just up to you uh, to figure out what you got. And all you have to do is take off that truss rod cover to find out. So one thing I should mention is my truss rod access is in my headstock. Um, you might also have a guitar where you have the truss rod on the edge of the guitar, the sides of the guitar. Um, if you have Either of those, you can definitely use this method to adjust the, the bow in the neck, but it's also possible to have the adjustment at the end of the neck, so you would actually have to take the neck off in order to take out or add any bow. But if you have a adjustment like that, um, these tips should help, but it's gonna be a little bit different because you have to take the neck off. 
Uh, you also want a tuner because we want to tune this as we're making the adjustments and a pick um, just to make it easier to pick the strings. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my truss rod cover first. The mine has one screw in it. Uh, yours might have two or three. Uh, just make sure you get the right screwdriver so you don't strip out uh, the screw threads. So I'm gonna make sure I don't lose that screw and slide out my cover here. This cover is actually pretty cool. So now that I have this exposed, you can see my hex nut there. I'm going to um, just make sure when I put my tool over there that it fits on nice and snug. You don't want something that's gonna slip. You don't want something that's going to uh, almost fit over it. So you want a good, nice, snug fit on that nut. So all I really need to do is let out tension and it's as simple as just turning this hex nut. So to relieve tension, you go counterclockwise, uh, lefty loosey as they say. And if you want to add tension, you go clockwise, just righty tighty. So in this case, I'm going to go counterclockwise to relieve tension. Now, as I'm relieving the tension, uh, I'm just gonna turn this counterclockwise in like one eighth, like one quarter turns and see how it adjusts so again, I'm gonna put this in here and turn it lefty-loosey. Give another little bit of a turn. Okay, so we got a bit there. So it already sounds like uh, I'm relieving a little bit of bow out of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on number one, press on 16 and don't really have any bounce there yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let it out a little bit more. That was just under a quarter of a turn, I think. Still no bounce. So you can see there I have just a touch of uh, bounce in between the fret and the string. So I think I'm almost there, um, but I just want a touch more bow. I think I wanna hear that click. I like that click. Excellent. So that is uh, where I wanna be roughly. Now, one thing to note is, um, especially if you need to make um, some big changes to this. Now I, I turned that probably uh, definitely over half a turn, maybe three quarters of turn. Um, more than likely after the guitar sets, um, I'm probably gonna have to adjust it again. So don't think, especially if you make um, some big adjustments that uh, they're gonna, it's a set it and forget it kind of thing. You're not gonna have to uh, worry about it again. So um, just keep that in mind. It will take a couple more tweaks more than likely after your guitar acclimates to the change. Now, since I let tension off the truss rod, I want to actually add some tension back in. So um, it's like tuning your guitar strings. You always uh, want to tune up to the pitch, not tune down because then you can maybe lose a little bit of that tension. So what I'm gonna do and, and to show you guys, I'm actually going to uh, go ahead and put a little bit more out of this um, just so I get a little bit more bow and then I can show you how to add tension to straighten it out. So we'll get this. Kind of way out here, and that's it's getting pretty loose. Put this here, and yeah, I've got a lot of bounce there, and that is definitely something I don't want. Another thing you really need to keep in mind when doing this is uh, is tuning. So right now, I am guaranteed I'm way out of tune uh, because I was letting tension off. Um, I'm now probably way detuned. So once I start adding more tension into the strings, it's going to pull it back even more. Uh, so I'm going to tune this and, and it's always a good idea to um, tune as much as possible. So once you make a bunch of changes, uh, tune it and then continue to make more changes. So go ahead and tune this up real quick. No, I'm all right, what's up? Okay, thanks. Yeah, I'll, I won't be too much longer, I'll let you know. All right, so I was about um, a half step low there. So I'm gonna check my bow again, and yeah, I've got a lot of bounce there. So now I'm just gonna 
uh, pretend that this is how the guitar came in and it was just too much bow in it, I want to straighten it out. Um, so in this case, I'm going to turn it clockwise to increase the tension. Um, this is where you need to be very careful. Make sure you have um, a really good fitting socket. You shouldn't be putting a whole lot of force on this um, or the nut looks corroded or you're just not comfortable doing it. You feel like you're gonna break your guitar. Um, just take it to a professional because uh, sometimes your nut can uh, seize up on there and then you're just going to end up cranking your uh, truss rod in half and it's just gonna ruin it. Uh, so just be really careful. I don't want you guys to do anything that's gonna break your guitars. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, start turning this back up. And I'll do, hope that feels good. So I had some good tension on there. And check here. Definitely got a bit of bounce there. Now as I'm putting uh, tension on the neck, it's going to uh, pull the strings and make them sharper. So as I make changes, I'm gonna have sharper strings. And then as I let that tension out of the strings back to tuning, it's uh, going to kind of leave that a little bit more uh, and get straighter as we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and tune up again. So it definitely was just a touch sharp and check. And I think I have a little too much bow here still. So I'm going to uh, make some more adjustments um, and hopefully be ready to go. At this point, I'm just gonna make the adjustment and tune each time uh, because I'm really close to where I want to be. Now, I think that's just about where I want it to be. I might play around with it a little bit more, but you guys don't need to see me uh, fuss with it. So once you get this really close to getting set up to where you want it to be, make sure you pick the guitar up and check the uh, bow that way. Because I'm holding the neck here, uh, and the body's just kind of in limbo here. Uh, the body can put force down uh, and then create a little bit more bow than what I want. So once I pick it up, there might not be um, that much bow in it because I, I relieve some of that pressure. Um, could be very minor, but you know, minor adjustments in guitar can make a huge difference. So uh, definitely make sure you pick up the guitar and play it and you're, you're happy with where you're at. But really, that is it. That is how you adjust a truss rod. Um, again, not rocket science. Um, you just got to be careful, uh, kind of know what you're doing and just go from there. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Uh, if it did, give me a like down there below. And if you want to hear more about what I'm working on, like tips and tricks, gear reviews, techniques, that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe to my channel below and hit that little bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. But hey, until next time, Rock on.